Hello everyone, our today's topic is hypothalamic nuclei. Let us have a look at this rough diagram. So here is our anterior pituitary, posterior pituitary and right above it is our hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is important for maintaining body's homeostasis. It regulates thirst. It also controls uh, anterior pituitary, posterior pituitary. It regulates body's temperature, sexual urges. It also regulates autonomic nervous system and also regulates hunger. So I have I have highlighted some important hypothalamic nuclei with different different colors. We are going to go through them one by one. So first let's start with preoptic nucleus. So here in yellow is our preoptic nucleus. Preoptic nucleus is important for thermoregulation, sexual behavior and it releases GnRH. GnRH will further stimulate our anterior pituitary to release FSH and LH. So, the neurons uh, which are responsible for production of GnRH, they first arise in olfactory pit and during development they migrate to hypothalamus. But if there is a failure of these neurons to migrate from olfactory pit to hypothalamus, it will cause Kalman syndrome. Next, we are going to talk about suprachiasmatic nucleus which is highlighted in green suprachiasmatic nucleus controls circadian rhythm so this rhythm controls nocturnal release of ACTH it controls release of pro prolactin and melatonin and it is also important for regulating our sleep wake cycle next for the discussion we have supraoptic nucleus here in blue so it is important for synthesis of vasopressin also known as antidiuretic hormone antidiuretic hormone is carried to posterior pituitary it is stored and uh, released from posterior pituitary paraventricular nuclei which is highlighted in brown color is important for synthesis of oxytocin oxytocin is also carried to posterior pituitary where it is stored and released as required highlighted in light blue color is our posterior nucleus posterior nucleus is important for temperature regulation it is important for heating now if there is a damage or a lesion in posterior nucleus it will cause poikilothermia it is a condition when our body's temperature varies according to the uh, according to the temperature of our environment and which is not a normal mechanism in humans also posterior nucleus can stimulate the sympathetic nervous system another important nucleus for temperature regulation is anterior nucleus highlighted in red so it is important for cooling now if there is a lesion in anterior nucleus it will lead to hyperthermia and anterior nucleus can also stimulate a peri parasympathetic nervous system highlighted with light green color is our venteromedial nucleus it is a satiety center and it is stimulated by leptin so if there is destruction of this nucleus it will lead to hyperphagia and obesity Lateral nucleus is not shown in the diagram uh, but it is very important. It is a feeding center and it is stimulated by ghrelin and inhibited by leptin. So when there is destruction of lateral nucleus there will be anorexia and failure to thrive in infants. So these are some important uh, hypothalamic nuclei and that's all from the video. Thank you.